How's it going, my lovely butterflies? This is the Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video. If you enjoy the content, don't hesitate to like and subscribe to my channel. How is everyone going? I hope everyone is taking care of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, as I said in my last video, I am so delighted to be back posting content on this channel, communicating with everybody. I want to send a special shout out to everyone who commented um, on my last video and also to everyone that has been supporting me and showing love since day one and also to all of my new butterflies as well. Welcome and welcome back everyone. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, um, we will be discussing emotional blackmailing. Before I get into uh, the video, uh, the detailing of the video itself, I would like to discuss my main reason for making this video. And that is because during these last days, God's chosen and God's people in general are being persecuted against, mainly for speaking out, from coming out of their silence, for trying to be a genuine person, even for overall trying to walk with the most high himself you have a special light around you and you irritate the demons of others this is because there are many demonic forces that live inside of many people walking around on this earth and it's very common and it's easy because our bodies are open portals and Possessing the demonic energy can come from a lot of the music that we listen to, a lot of the foods that we eat, social media, television, and also a lot of covenants that we make with people aware and unaware. Awareness meaning that you can make a covenant with someone through witchcraft, through joining different occultic groups and organizations or you can also make covenants with people unknowingly when you get in relationships with people or just have a relationship with a family member or a friend and if it's toxic there you can create an unhealthy soul tie and this is also guys how um, generational curses are created throughout the families because there are toxic energies and behaviors that take place and if these behaviors are not brought to awareness if they're not discussed if they're not being prayed upon by the most high and if you're not praying for healing and restoration from these situations it can linger from generation to generation um guys it is very important to understand that unhealthy soul ties are not just in romantic relationships. These can be through family and friendships as well. These demonic spirits are using low vibrational people's bodies as portals to destroy God's people. And I'm not saying that everyone is not God's people because he created all of us, but there are many that are aware that their mission is to be against God's people because there are many unbelievers and there are also many that say they believe but they don't live the, ni the lifestyle near as much meaning that they're vibrating so low from living worldly that they have to uh, possess the demonic spirit without even being aware of it. Um, these demonic spirits come at God's people in many ways. And this is also to distract you from your calling, which is God's purpose for your life. Um, this also brings me to speak on a tactic that is mainly a tactic of manipulation and this is emotional blackmailing. And this is when a friend, a family member, or a partner uses threats, demands. They also use false narratives to play on your emotions in order to get something out of you. 
it doesn't just have to be something of materialistic value. It can be a certain action or a certain way of thinking that they're trying to inhabit into your spirit. This is very demonic and many of us are unaware of it because these things are, or if we are aware of it, we look over it because it's being done by people that we care about the most. Um, not only do they use the demands, threats, and the false narratives, they also play on your emotions. And this is for many, I'm um, talking to my empaths out there, people who have big caring hearts, people who uh, possess a uh, majority of their lives around helping others. These people are usually attacked the most and um, to the highest extent. And I call this the puppet master technique. This is where they string your heart along and it's pretty much playing on your emotions. And this is an, an attempt to control a person and to manipulate them. And it's also to try and persuade that person to think and act a certain way when it's concerning them. Because these people not only want to manipulate you and to persuade you, they also want to keep up a certain image. And they also stop at nothing to get people to believe that image because it makes it easier for them to manipulate and to control others. Um, to all of my people out there who are being persecuted against at this time, um, even, you know, from the past where you remember being mistreated by someone who was very close to you, um, this doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't just have to be a romantic relationship. It can be a close friend or a family member. And if you can just recall, at this point in time, this scenario, guys, I'm going to take it back to childhood because relationship is more common. So I'm going to take it back to where a lot of, a lot of these things stem from, okay? Um, let's talk about the mistreatment, the gaslighting, um, the manipulation that has taken place since you can remember from someone that you've been very close to in your life. And... You've been around this person and a lot of red flags have become aware, uh, presented. They've presented themselves. A lot of red flags have presented themselves. The Most High has most certainly given you the wisdom and discernment, um, but you refuse to recognize the sarcasm, um, the gossip, the insults the slandering of your name, the rumors, um, even being set up in uncompromising situations in an attempt to get you to lose your cool. These people have done so many unfortunate things to you or this person, and you always seem to come back around. And this is where a lot of generational curses come into play as well, where you hear the sayings, um, Family always sticks together no matter what. No matter what we go through. We can do this and that to each other, but we're still blood and we're going to always come together at the end of the day. Well, though that's a traditional way of thinking, in my opinion. I feel that respect should apply to any and everyone. I feel that if anyone crosses a certain line with someone, it should be addressed no matter who they are. I feel that certain boundaries should be set with any and everyone because at the end of the day, we have to protect ourselves, we have to love ourselves, and we have to sustain our mental, spiritual, and physical stability in order to carry out our purpose and a strong relationship with the Most High because, guys, these things are very distracting. Um... It comes to a point where you finally use the wisdom and discernment that God gave you and you realize that these people are not only healthy for you to be around, but they're also dangerous people because you realize these people are out to destroy you. Sometimes it takes, it takes years. It, it took me a long time to realize that certain people that I was very close to did not have my best interest at heart 
at all. These people did not look at me the way I looked at them. They didn't look at it as, hey, we're family. We should always stick together and help each other and love each other. Um, they saw me as competition. They saw me as a threat. And it's unfortunate when you don't see people the same way that they see you. It's not healthy to continue these relationships because their mission is totally different from yours. As if you're, you know, with you, you're trying to build a strong, loving relationship. And it, with these people, they're trying to compete and destroy you at the same time. Um, you begin to distance yourself from these people and you try to build a closer relationship with God. You begin, you know, taking care of yourself, trying to eat better. Uh, you're working out, you're drinking water. Um, you're trying to get into your Bible scriptures. You're working on personal projects that the Most High has given you through spiritual download or, you know, for your your per personal purposes, career-wise, and as for your work, you know, for the Most High. You could be starting a business, writing a book, starting a YouTube channel, any special project that you... Um, that has come to you to work on at this point in time people are upset with you in 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 general for putting god first and finally taking care of yourself and this is you know for the people that has been very committing to their family their friendships their uh relationships they haven't skipped the beat on being there they've always tried to do the, the best that they could even though these people have shown them otherwise yet and still they're the main ones that push the traditional belief that family should always stick together no matter what guys i am here to tell you that we must break generational curses and one of the ways of doing it is by breaking these traditional ways of thinking guys that is always not the case i don't feel that family should always stick together no matter what if in most in in overall yes you should but if there's someone that's genuinely they don't have your best interest at heart and these people have shown you many signs that they don't care it is it is the lord showing you that is in your best interest to separate yourself and i know that it's hard to break these traditions and, you know, these ways of thinking, especially when people are still celebrating these paganistic holidays. You know, these are a lot of times where these people use these paganistic holidays as time to meet up and set people up as far as, you know, making them feel less than a person, slandering their name, spreading gossip and rumors and just all out drama. This is their time to come in contact with you and drain your energy. And yes, um, emotional blackmailing emotional blackmailers are also energy vampires um they do leave you feeling a lot of times confused and drained at the end of the day because a lot of the times their motives are not meeting up with their actions okay um at this time when you do realize what's going on you're taking your energy back um and this is when you take your energy back you're setting boundaries and when you're setting boundaries you're putting up a shield and most likely it's a spiritual shield because a lot of your discernment about these people has come from the most high he shows you these things for a reason so you can protect yourselves and a lot of the times you know when you become acknowledged about these things and you speak on them you're being called a negative person you're being attacked in many ways a lot of the times you're not only being verbally attacked emotionally attacked you're being physically attacked because the demon that is possessed within this person is irritated by your truth and light very irritated so um just know when addressing these situations just address them with caution and just be prepared for anything when you're dealing with these type of people. And guys, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just being truthful because these past um, eight or nine months, guys, I have seen a lot. I've experienced a lot and 
coming from the people that it was coming from, I did not want to experience it from those people. So that was the most high showing me. And at that time, when I got showed these things, I was indeed praying for wisdom and discernment. So it all made sense. Okay. And I just want you guys to make sure that when the most high shows you, when you pray for your wisdom and discernment, just know that it is what it is. Okay, guys, I'm going to discuss some tactics uh, with that are used by um, emotional blackmailers. And this is one that I feel that many of God's chosen can relate to, especially in empathic people. And this is guilt tripping. And this is where someone makes you feel guilty for no apparent reason, okay? Uh, accusing you, one way to be accusing you of something that you did not do. You have no idea why this person is accusing you of what they're accusing you of. It can be anything. Um, it's all an attempt to leave you feeling drained and confused. And you're using all of your time now trying to focus on why this person feels this way. You know, where did they get this information from? Why are they thinking this way? It's not true that you cannot focus on your task at hand. You know, um, it distracts you from God. It distracts you from your purpose. It distracts you from your goals. It distracts you from everything, from your self-care, from even caring for other people. It's just an overall total distraction, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, they leave you feeling confused for a reason. And like I said, once your energy is drained, these people now have control over your emotions. Um, and this is also to see how far you would go to prove yourselves to them. Um, there's an underlying jealousy and envy with these people. And they want a piece of you. And this is one of their ways of getting a piece of you. And it's like stringing your heart along like a puppet it's the puppet master technique they want to see how far you'll go to prove your innocence with them they want to see you nervous and in shambles and suffer from anxiety and depression and can't sleep at night worried about how they feel and the sad thing about it guys this usually comes from the people that you care about the most because they know that they're the ones that can usually get to you um they may slander your name you know spread false rumors about you and this can be from past or present environment. And what I mean by that is, let's say, for instance, um, going back to that past scenario I was talking about earlier, you're dealing with someone close to you. You've always tried to be there for them. They've shown you plenty red flags and you've ignored them. You finally said, you know what, I'm going to use the sense that God gave me, the discernment, the wisdom, and I'm going to go ahead and distance myself so I can protect myself and my energy. Well, this angers them severely because now you're no longer accessible or available. They can no longer harvest your energy. Um, this is when you've cut contact. You've, got, you've either gotten your number changed or you've changed locations. You've moved. Um, they can no longer distract you from your purpose at this point, okay? Um... They can also not plant, uh, plot physical, plan, uh, uh, I'm sorry, plot any plans to physically destroy you at this time because you're not accessible. Um, a lot of the times, there are some that may try and, you know, do witchcraft because that's the only way that they can get to you. I must say, strong prayer, especially Psalms 91, I tell everyone about that. Strong protection prayers, uh, not opening up any unnecessary portals, especially not um, any type of divination with witchcraft, tarot cards, crystals, anything like that. I have some videos coming on those things as well, guys, so stay tuned. Um, certain music that we listen to, a lot of secular music has a lot of uh, negative frequencies. It's just, it's just a lot of things, and... You know, we're not perfect, so it's always easy to open a portal sometimes without even knowing. So, uh, prayer protection is very um, much needed when dealing with these type of situations. Um, there's nothing wrong with helping anyone, and you should always help someone. 
But um, this brings me to um, my second um, tactic used by Black Miller, and that is obligation. Um, this is when someone close to you makes you feel guilty when you're not always available. Um, this is one of the strongest forms of emotional blackmailing. Um, controlling your emotions by making you feel a sense of guilt, making you feel like you're being disloyal if you're not constantly available when they need you. Um, they may say things like, it's okay, I'll find someone else to help me since you're always busy. Uh, things like that. Um, they may even use sad facial expressions. And, and let me say this. I'm speaking on the situations where you know you've always been there and you've usually put yourself on the back burner majority of your life for these people. And not only are you being there for them, but you're accepting their mistreatment um, in return. They're being very, you know, inappreciative of your time and, you know, everything that you're putting into them. And when you finally take some time out for yourself, they guilt trip you. Um, guys, I, I just want everyone out there to know that there comes a time where that voice in the back of your head will start to show through your actions and meaning you will start to listen to it and you will start to act in accordingly like i said before when we love people we do ignore signs i want you to know that we must know the difference between doing what's right and being distracted from our purpose know that you can do all you can when you can and also know when it's time for you to put time in for the most high and for yourself. Because that's how you recharge. That's how you stay spiritually, mentally, and physically recharged so you can um, deal with other people. Um, very, you know, very empathic people, pretty much people with the with a strong sense of the Holy Spirit um, are empaths. That's pretty much what that is. Um, sometimes our heart can lead us astray if we don't keep a healthy balance so just always remember guys you know keep a healthy balance and you know never let someone take advantage of you no matter who it is and another tactic that is also used and this is this is this one is one that i feel is also used a lot amongst um the one of obligation and this one is fear and this is when a person um, uses someone's fear against them in order to get what they want from them or to get them to act or think a certain way. Um, they may threaten to tell secrets of yours. They may threaten to harm you, harm themselves. Um, they may threaten to take away something from you. Um, it could be something of materialistic value or it could be something maybe such as a promise, maybe to stay committed um, in a relationship with you whether it be romantic or non, you know, this can be family or friends as well. You know, just a promise to always be true, to always be a loyal person, and they take it away. And this is why I was saying to always be careful who you make a covenant with, knowingly and unknowingly, because these type of things as well, um, when they hold promises and commitments over your head, it's stringing your heart along, and it's also creating a negative soul tie. Um... Fear is also used to implant uncertainty. And the uncertainty makes it hard for you to use your discernment with the Most High. See, it's all to confuse you. That's how you can tell that you can sense the demonic spirit in all of these tactics. It's all to confuse you, to drain you, and to distract you. Okay? Um, some ways that you can deal with the emotional blackmailing. And number one... Always pray for your, you know, your protection when dealing with these situations. Number two, set your boundaries. You know, um, stand strong in letting this, this, this person or people know what you're willing to accept and what you're willing not to accept. Whether it's family, friends, uh, your partner, no matter who it is, even people at work. 
Um, set your boundaries. Let them know, you know, what you're not willing to put up with. And when setting these healthy boundaries, it also helps you with your discernment. And it also helps you with not feeling confused, is wondering if you made the right decision, if you're being too hard on the person. No, it is what it is. Um, if these people are showing you signs that they're disloyal and that they don't have your best interest at heart, then that's most certainly what it is. Guys, we're living in the last days, the last times, to the point to where a lot of the prophetic um scriptures in the bible are most, most certainly being played out today you're most certainly seeing these things um i would like to read this verse um about manipulation it's 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 a bible scripture in reference to manipulation the second timothy chapter three verses one through five this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And guys, that pretty much... In a nutshell, it explains everything that I'm talking about right now. You know, people being very selfish and lovers of themselves, and it's causing them to be very narcissistic and take advantage of, you know, anyone that has a loving heart and that gives them a chance. And if these people are not making themselves available for the mistreatment, they are slandering their names, causing, you know, spreading rumors about them, trying to plot plans to destroy them. It's very, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it is very selfish and narcissistic and it's most certainly demonic. Um, another thing, don't feel bad to do this, guys, and that is distance yourself from the negativity. You do not have to deal with mistreatment from anyone. Distance yourself. Okay, um, set your boundaries, and if those boundaries are not being respected, meaning if people cannot respect your you time, if people cannot respect you overall as a person, then, you know, maybe it's just time that you distance yourself from them. Pay attention to a person's actions, uh, their communication with you, their body language. If you're skeptical of someone that's, you know, trying to actually emotionally blackmail you pay attention to all of those things because they all come into play with discernment as well the way people look at you the way people talk to you the way people treat you and all it really says a lot about how they feel about you just listen and pay attention and you will most certainly know okay um i love you guys so much i'm not going to keep you any longer i had to come through and drop this video um, I really appreciate each and every one of you. You guys mean a lot to me. Share this video if you don't care. Spiritual awareness is very important. And I'm really big on everyone being aware of what's going on around them, especially in these times. Stay strong, guys. Stay prayed up. I love you guys so, so much. And until the next video. Oh, um, stay tuned, guys. I have a lot of content coming, a lot of great content coming. I'm going to put a lot of hard work and research into what I bring to you guys. So let's continue to um, spread the spiritual awareness, butterflies. I love you so much. And until the next video, peace and love.